Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Roto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Paper Dungeons, a dungeon scrawler game. Now, this is a very, very good roll and write set in a dungeon crawling type scenario. What's a good picture of it? Uh, basically, everybody is competing to get their party of adventurers a fight a thief, a cleric, and a wizard through a dungeon as best they can by you know uh, traversing a route that you make. It's a bingo style game, so we roll six dice every round. Everybody has access to the same dice, but you're only each round going to get three of those six dice. And you use those dice to move your party, to level your party up, to um, get, get healing potions to keep your party alive, to build artifacts to help you fight the bosses and do other stuff. And um, the game, you are under a very, very tight schedule as you work your way through this game because um, after you've had a few rounds, you have to be in a position to fight the first boss. If you don't, you run away and you uh, lose points. You, know, you lose renown. But if you can make it to them and you've got a team that's leveled up enough to beat the boss, then instead of losing renown, you get points and all of that. Um, but you also take damage, so you better be ready to mitigate that damage. Honestly, over the last few years, there have been like a half a dozen roll and write style games that are themed after players uh, competitively doing their best to make it through a dungeon. And so I played almost all of them. And as far as I'm concerned, this one is by far the best. It is fantastic. Because what I didn't talk about, even though there's a ton of replayability, because every time you play, you get a different combination of monsters and objectives you're trying to chase after and private objectives you're trying to complete and all that. But the way the dice work, uh, they're really cool custom dice. There's three white ones, three black ones. And depending on what rolls, certain dice could be really useful for one player and not useful for another. And it's just a really sharp, fun design, a great presentation. Jen and I were both really blown away by it. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Again, if you like rolling rights and if you like dungeon crawls, there are a bunch of options on the board, but none of them are as good as number nine of the list. Paper Dungeons. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Roto Rapid reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.